to my channel. My name is Tina and today we're going to talk about my summer favorites and fails. So I have several favorites and a few fails, frankly. Let's jump into this and just get popping. So one of my first favorites is this little Too Faced mini blush in Baby Love for the summer. I think this is like one of the best shades ever for summer. I don't know, it goes so well with bronzer and it's so pretty. I love it. Those little blushes, I they last forever for me. So you guys have seen me using this for months now. I absolutely adore it. Uh, it's the Pacifica Rainbow Crystals Liquid Mineral Strobe. This is in their white one. I don't know the name of it um, and I can't find it anywhere. I bought this at Ulta. It is white, like white white. So it looks gorgeous in the inner corner. And if you're pale like me, getting that inner corner to pop is kind of tough to be frank. And this does an excellent job. Plus it's so easy to use and it smells pretty darn good. Not as good as butter bronzer, but it's still got that summery scent to it. And I have a couple of highlights here. This highlight from Smashbox, this one is in Petal Metal Highlighter in Gilded Rose. And the packaging is stunning. And the highlighter is gorgeous. I don't know, it's just, I love it. I wear it all the time. And it can go from subtle to crazy blinding, just depending on how you use it. I adore this and I love the packaging. I think it's gorgeous, which is why I keep the box because I like to keep it pretty. So I keep it in a little box. Another summer favorite, I think I'm not the only one who's gonna say this is a summer favorite, is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It smells like vacation, sunscreen, all that. It is a gorgeous color. This one is in the light, I believe, light bronzer. Love this. It is great. The hype is there for a reason. Another blush that I've been loving this summer is the The Balm Hot Mama. Um, its packaging looks like that. It has a little tiny mirror inside. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. It's just beautiful. I use this like as a blush topper over the top of the Too Faced. The two together, I mean, you can see those two together. They're just beautiful together. Really like them. The lipstick I've been wearing is the one I have on right now. It's in Frappe. Frappe. It's from Colored Rain. I love this shade. Uh, it's kind of a grayish, pinkish nude, I guess. I don't know, however you describe it. This one stays on me for hours. I don't have to worry about replacing it or kissing my husband. And I've been using it ever since my Tarte Festival went missing. So another inner corner color that is gorgeous is the Stila in, I believe this is in Kitten. It is so beautiful and so easy to use. It's a more pinky rose gold and great for, you know, a smoky eyed look, an evening look, it's gorgeous. This is my other, or another highlighter that I've been wearing a lot. It's the Smashbox Casey Holmes Spotlight Palette. And it just has three beautiful shades of highlight in here. Um, I don't ever use that middle one. It's, it's just a little dark for me. I use the lightest shade the most and they're right there. I don't know if you can see them. I also have both this and the rose gold on today. I combined the two together because they're both Smashbox. They like work together great. Last highlighter um, is my Ofra Trio from, by, from Nikki Tutorials. It looks like this one looks terrible. I use the lightest shade, which is a white, and then I use the second shade. And these are so smooth and so blinding. Oh, they're just gorgeous. Um, if you had darker skin, that other one would look beautiful on you. On me, it doesn't work. <laughs> I, look, I look like a freak. The Kiko Aquamarine Eyeliner. I've been wearing this nonstop. It is just a gorgeous shade and it goes on so smooth, so easy. Of all the Kiko products that I bought, this is my favorite. So I only grabbed, well, I actually have three of them sitting here. I've been using all of these this summer and specifically this one called Goldie Fox for the summer. I don't know, these are just, I love these. Um, you can see I've been digging into this one like crazy. These are the Smashbox Trios. They're like 22 bucks a piece or something and you can get them on sale for 20% off so they're like 18. Um, this one is It's Fire Yellows. Absolutely love these. I do have the Color Shot palette in Sunlit. I love it, but I haven't had it very long, so I only just started using it. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna give my summer to is the 
Alamar palette. And I don't always just use like this, but I generally reach for this to grab a shade out of it. And I love this shade here specifically. I think it's gorgeous. It's called El Malacon. You can use it wet or dry and it's so beautiful. It is such a beautiful shade, like so pretty. It is like a greeny, yellowy, goldy color. I don't know, but it's perfect for summer. Like, look at that. It goes on so easy. Um, I like the other shades in here. This, ye this yellowy color here and then the terracotta are both beautiful for me. And this one red down here, I like it too. I, they just really work for me. I love them so much. What's not to love? This is completely empty. I've used every last bit of it. Like there's nothing left in here. This is my Bare Minerals Prep Step Sunscreen and SPF 50. This goes on under your makeup perfectly so you do not end up with like weird makeup because that's really annoying and it happens with sunscreen all the time and it has zero flashback. So this is awesome. The last favorite I picked up when I went to the fair. It's amazing. This is the Ulta Beauty SPF 50 uh, sunscreen setting spray and it is one heck of a setting spray. It does smell like alcohol and it tastes like crap. I know because I just got some in my mouth. This works so well. Like I am shocked, like shocked at how good this is. This is amazing and it's like $9.99 and I believe you can use your coupon on it. Absolutely a must have. I don't care who you are. You need that. Trust me, you need it. It's, it's amazing. I carry this in my purse. I had to go get it out of my purse just for this video. Let's jump into my fails. Can't have favorites without a few fails, right? <laughs> a couple things that you're just like, well, why didn't that work? My first one, I bought this to go with my blue obsession this summer. So I bought this Milani Hypnotic Lights eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow maybe. You can see the problem just on my wrist. It does not behave. Uh, it separates so bad and you really can't pat it out and it screws up your eyeshadow. So it's patchy. It's terrible. This is like awful. I do not like this. I do not recommend this color at all. Um, I have their rose gold shade and it's nice enough. It's not as good as the Stila is by any means. This, this is awful. Absolutely terrible. Save your money. <laughs> I know it's not expensive, but save your money. Another one, this is the Heart Candy Fox in a Box Girl Boss Highlighter. It's supposed to smell like cupcakes. It doesn't. It smells like nasty old makeup scent. It's awful, like so awful. Um, I can't stand to have it near me. It doesn't highlight, like see that? Like it looks like it might highlight. And then you put it on and it's like a matte eyeshadow. <laughs> It's awful. I mean, it's the right shade for me. But that's not a highlight. Not like that stuff or that stuff. I did not like this. I was, I should have returned it because it's that bad. So another one and this one earlier this year, I had said I liked it and then it started misbehaving. And now I don't like it because it misbehaves. So this is the NYX HD concealer. And I know this is on a lot of people's favorites lists and I totally get why. Mine now bunches up under my eye and I can't blend it out. Talk about ruining your makeup. I end up with these spots under my eye that look awful and I can't get rid of them unless I take a makeup wipe and just wipe it all off. And even then it likes to like gather in spots. Why is it doing that? I don't know why it's doing that, but this is now a no go for me. I will not be buying this ever again. This one isn't open. There were three of these or four of these. They came in like this round thing. They were all in these cute little things and they come in and I kept this one in the box to show you guys what the problem is. So you open them up. First of all, the glue smells like super glue and it's terrible. And they come in these things where they're indented and you can't get them out without breaking them or making them stick to each other. So you ruin your lashes before you get them out of there. And if you do manage to get them out of there, you get it out and you're like, okay, I finally got it out of there. This one isn't ruined. You put it on your eye and it's awful. It feels terrible. It looks terrible. It's super plasticky and shiny. This was at TJ Maxx. I think they were $4.99 and it looks so cute. It suckered me in. Awful. And I buy lashes from TJ Maxx all the time and they're great. These are awful. Don't buy them. So the last product is a brow product. I was super mad about this. So this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Brow. 
I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with mine. As you can see, I still have my box because I didn't even use it once. When I swatch it, see how it fades from dark to light? Okay, that would be fine, except for it fades super bad. The more you use it, it wipes itself off. I don't know what's wrong with it. It doesn't like me and it doesn't stay on my brows at all. It's a total waste of money for me. Seriously, that bad. I hate it. Like hate, hate it. I have problems with my brows, so I know that. So I tend to go with simple stuff. And this looked really simple. It's like, okay, so I like to use a pencil and this is kind of like a Sharpie. Like I like to use on my eyeliner. Yeah, except for it doesn't work. And it just comes off my brows. It doesn't stay on. What is this supposed to do for me? I don't know what this is supposed to do, but it's evil. It's going in the garbage made me super mad. So those are my fails and favorites form this summer, the things that I was using or trying to use this summer that either worked or didn't. Um, I'd love to know what worked for you this summer or what didn't. I hope you guys had a great summer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!